everybody, Mrs. Hogg here. Um, we all know that brain development is a vital part of learning and growth for all children. Um, the brain needs food, sleep, oxygen, water, novelty, and challenge to function. So today I want to talk a little bit about each part of the brain and their functions. As caregivers, it's very important for us to understand the brain so that we will be able to better support um, our children's growth and development. I have created a model of the brain um, with my awesome Play-Doh. So I'm going to show you all each part and we'll talk about the functions of each. You guys ready? Okay, here we go. So here is my little brain that I've made. So first we're going to talk about the frontal lobe. That's this pink part right here. The frontal lobe is responsible for our motor patterns and activity. This lobe helps us carry on higher intellectual processes such as concentration, planning, problem solving, and judgment of the consequences of our behavior. Within the frontal lobe, we will also find our prefrontal cortex, which is in, the, in charge of executive functioning. The motor cortex, which controls voluntary motor activity, and Broca's area, which controls language production. So that is the frontal lobe, my pink part of my model here. Next, we're going to move on to the parietal lobe, which is the blue part of my brain right here. The parietal lobe is responsible for processing our sensory input, sensations like temperature, touch, pressure, and pain sensed by the skin. This lobe also helps us to create an understanding of speech and use of words to express thoughts and feelings. Next, we're going to move on to the temporal lobe, which is my yellow part of my model right here. The temporal lobe is responsible for auditory reception, expressed behavior, receptive speech, and memory retrieval. This lobe also contains Wernicke's area, which is in charge of language comprehension, and that's the temporal lobe. Next, we're going to move on to the occipital lobe, which is my green part of my model right here. The occipital lobe is responsible for our vision. This lobe helps us connect visual images with other sensory experiences. The next part of my brain is part of the brain stem, but it's called the cerebellum. It is the purple part of my brain model right here. The cerebellum helps us to regulate movement. It's responsible for coordination and control of voluntary movements. And then the last part is my brain stem. The brain stem is responsible for basic functions like breathing, waking, sleeping, and heart rate. It also helps to control digestion and alertness. I really hope this video has brought you guys some new information. Be sure to check out the rest of this presentation for some informative resources on brain development and function. Please feel free to reach out to me with any questions you may have. Thanks so much for watching.